Well, here we have similar polygons. And I'm going to make the statement A, B, C, D, similar to E, F, G, H. So we've got a bunch of statements that are true. Right here, we have four congruences. That is, all the pairs of their corresponding angles are congruent. Now, these figures aren't the same size, but they are the same shape. One is the enlargement or the reduction of the other. Let's visualize this. Angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle B is congruent to angle F. Angle C is congruent to angle G. And H and D are congruent. So four, in this case, quadrilateral, four congruent angle, four pairs of congruent angles. And now we have something else going on. The ratio of the green to the green is the same as the red to the red, as magenta to magenta, as blue as to blue. The corresponding sides are proportional. Let's look at that a little closer. So let's continue our discussion of similar figures with our two similar quadrilaterals. And for your convenience, again, I've got them arranged by color. The uh, matching sides are the corresponding sides. And let's see, I've got two pairs of corresponding sides where I know the measures, the magenta and the green. Now oh, the magenta's got a fraction of oh, 10 and a half. Let's, let's use the green to find scale factor. If I were to do that, I could say the scale factor, that is A, B, C, D to E, F, G, H, 6 to 9, I would really say it's 2 to 3. So uh, and hang on to that thought. We're going to use this again. So I could say A, B, C, D is 2 thirds the size of E, F, G, H. Well, not 2 thirds by area, of course, silly. 2 thirds each of the sides is two-thirds of its corresponding side. That's what scale factor is. Now, I could say, on the other hand, that this figure, the large figure, is to the smaller figure as 9 is to 6, or a scale factor of 3 to 2. And that's saying that this figure, every one of its sides, is simply one and a half times as big as its corresponding side on ABCD. So now, let's two ways to find a missing side. I'm going to use the proportion established here. This side is to this side, as this side is to this side. That's a legitimate proportion. And we could cross multiply, do all types of things. And you already know what the answer is, but let's let's do it another way. I could use the scale factor. I could say, uh-huh. I've determined the scale factor here is 2 to 3. So, very simply, AD, this side, is 2 thirds of this one. And that would be 10. You get the same thing in the proportion. Now, let's try it the other way. Let's use a proportion here. Again, I'll go back to my go to side. 6 is to 9, as 8 is to GH. I could do that mumbo jumbo arithmetic, or I could use my handy dandy scale factor right there, which says three to two. Another way of saying that is one and a half times as big. There you go. So GH is three halves as big as eight, or one and a half times. And we know that that would be 12. So there you go. You've got one more way to get this thing done. Let's use our same two quadrilaterals, that is, these two similar figures right here. And we're going to demonstrate the Theorem 6-1 perimeter of similar polygons. And it says very simply that if I take the ratio of these perimeters, that I'll add up all the sides from A, B, C, D, and I'll compare that to all the sides of E, F, G, H, I should get the same ratio as any individual pair of sides, as we did before, 6 to 9 and 8 to 12, etc. So let's do that really quickly. And this is a demonstration. 
will just do the substitution. Okay, so we're adding up all the sides of the V figure on the numerator and all the other sides of EFGH in the denominator. When I add them up, I get 31 is to 46 and a half. Now, that may be harder to see. I don't like those fractions. So now it's time for a little mental math here. When you've got that fraction there, well, just double everything there. Double the numerator and denominator. And now you've got whole numbers, and it's easier to see. And with that keen eye, you'd say, hmm, I spot a factor of 31. Imagine that. So it simplifies to a ratio of 2 to 3. So this ratio, all these added together, simplifies to 2 to 3. And if you recall, that's any of these sides. 6 to 9, that's 2 to 3. 8 to 12, that's 2 to 3. 10 to 15, 2 to 3. 7 to 10 and a half, also 2 to 3. Okay, the two triangles are similar, ABC, LMN, and that means all these angles, angle A is congruent to angle L, B, angle B is congruent to angle M, and angle C down here congruent to angle N. As far as sides go, pretty obvious here, the ratio, the red sides, we'll say AB is to LM as BC is to MN as CA is to NL. Those are your ratios. Well, given this similarity statement of two triangles, let's see which of these four proportions is incorrect without even drawing the triangles. Here goes. Here's the easy way. I'm just going to shade them. Color code them, if you will. BC is to EF. See, that's the second and third position, respectively. As AC is to DF. Oh, well, that matches. That looks good. How about B? AB is to DE in blue, as CA is to FD in orange. Again, a match. How about C? A or CA is to FD in blue, as BC is to EF. See the second and third position, positions there. Also a match. That's good. Finally, for the last one, oh, look at that. AB is to EF. Well, that's the first two letters of this triangle, second two letters of the other. That's not a match. So that refers to a different segment. They are not the corresponding. AB does not correspond to EF. AB corresponds to DE. So in red there, there's a problem right there. And in blue is also a problem, as BC is to DE. BC does not correspond to DE. So if we had to pick one of these is not like the other, this is it. Well, at first glance, these two rectangles may not appear similar, but uh, the trick right here is imagine if you could turn this one this way. Oh, now it seems to make more sense because now I can see very clearly if I compare the 48 to the 24 and the 64 to the 32, there's a certain relationship you should see because that is a proportion. And you can say, hmm, in each case, that the factor is 2 to 1. So I could say RSTU, similar to WXYZ. Well, let's see if we have similar figures here. It looks like we do. We've got all these congruent angles. In the not-too-distant future, you'll know already from those angles that these triangles are indeed similar. But we don't know that yet. I want you to imagine if we spun this one around this way. Oh yeah, I can kind of see how it lines up. They look similar. Let's check the proportions. So all the angles match. Now the sides would have to match. Remember, you've got to imagine it's rotated. The 10 matches with the 8, the 12 with the 9.6, etc. If this proportion is true, then we have um, proportional sides. And let's just evaluate it. You know, if we can simplify them all, I don't want to cross multiply three times. That's crazy. 
I could look at this, and I have the third, um, say the third ratio here, five to four. I like that. Ten to eight. Very easy to see that that simplifies five to four. But what about this one? Twelve to nine point six. Just try this. Pull up your calculator. Here's the easy way. This is the lazy way to do it. Take this calculator out because you know 10 divided by 8, that's 1.25. 5 divided by 4 is also 1.25. 12 divided by 9.6 is also 1.25. That's the lazy way to do it. And that shows me that all three of those ratios are equal. So this extended proportion is true. And that means the, fig the figures that we have here are indeed similar. And the similarity statement we'd have would look like that. And the scale factor, by the way, would be 5 to 4. In simplest terms, I mean, I, again, I could see that directly from DE to UV, 5 to 4 in whole numbers, or... As you notice from our division there, we could have also referred to it as 1.25. When we say that, we really mean 1.25 to 1, or one and a quarter. This one on the left is one and a quarter times, as, or each of their corresponding sides, excuse me, one and a quarter times the length of the corresponding sides on the second triangle. Well, that's a mouthful. So that's two ways to state your ratio. And there's the proportionality test. These two are similar triangles.